Hi friends and welcome to Fighting Saints Weekly. Another sweep in the books, a winning streak on the way, another point streak brewing. Life's good. When you look at the Dubuque Fighting Saints situation right now, just two points out of first place in the Eastern Conference. But the next team they're about to face is just two points behind them, meaning things are definitely congested at the top of the Eastern Conference. So a sweep over the Youngstown Phantoms, close playoff style games, and we had a lot of fun being here and seeing them happen what great crowds to have and seen that as well. So thanks all for coming out and seeing what happened. But if you didn't see what happened, feel free to take a look at the highlights here as well as hear from some of the key contributors that made these games and these wins possible. So to go from the team that was in fourth place to the one that's in third place, the Muskegon Lumberjacks enter this weekend just two points back of the Saints and four points back of the top spot in the Eastern Conference as well as the USHL as they trail both to the Chicago Steel who have not been the same team since winning 10 in a row. Now when you look at this weekend you see opportunity. Now it's on the road, it's in a place where the Saints historically have not been good lately at the LC Walker Arena. Tough place to play, a little darker, a uh, long way from home. But at the same time this weekend series is just as important if not more important than the one prior here against the Youngstown Phantoms. And Muskegon has some really good firepower. They're a deep team led in goal by Keith Petrozelli. He's huge at six foot five. He's got serious size. He's got draft consideration for him as well. Expect him and Nett to face off against Jackson Caster, but a deep veteran defense as well as the forward group, which is led by two guys in particular that will definitely, I'd say more than likely, find their way on the score sheet in some capacity. First, you have Colin Adams, who is a New York Islanders prospect. He scores goals with reckless abandon. He's been really good this year in that respect. And Andrei Svechnikov, who could end up being a top pick in next year's draft. Actually, the brother of Genny Svechnikov, who is with the Grand Rapids Griffins of the American Hockey League. Talented player. Lots of skill. Lots of upside. And while he missed some time being at the under seven, or excuse me, the World Junior A Challenge, winning or doing very well, at least for Russia. Absolutely great player. Expect him to definitely get in on the score sheet here this weekend. And really, Muskegon's a tough test. They do well at home, and there's a good reason for that. So looking forward to this weekend when the Saints face off against the Muskegon Lumberjacks. Of course, this being on the east, they are the eastern time zone. It's not really on the east coast. It's on the eastern time zone. Both games start at 6.15 Central. We'll have all the action for you at 6 o'clock on Super It's 106. Stay tuned to that, and we'll have all the action for you from L.C. Walker Arena. Two teams that are vying for serious consideration for home ice advantage in the playoffs. I know 25 games out. These two games are pretty big. Jordan Kuhn signing off for Fighting Saints Weekly. So long, fans. We'll talk to you next week when the Saints could very well find themselves in first place.